Hi guys, um, I just wanted to say bye one last time, and I thought of a book that I have here at my house that I wanted to read to you guys, because it just made me think of how much you guys have helped me this, um, this last semester, or this last couple months at St. Anthony's. Um, it's called A House for Hermit Crab, and it's by Eric Carle, and I loved the Eric Carle books when I was, um, in second grade and first grade. So, I just thought I'd share it with you guys. Time to move, said Hermit Crab one day in January. I've grown too big for this little shell. He had felt safe and snug in his shell, but now it was too snug. Hermit Crab stepped out of the shell and onto the floor of the ocean. But it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What, what if a big fish comes along and attacks me? He thought, I must find a new home soon. There's a picture. See, he's leaving his shell because he got too big for it. Early in February, Hermit Crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He moved right in, wiggling and waggling about inside it to see how it felt. It felt just right. But it looks so, well, so plain, thought Hermit Crab. Here's his new home. In March, Hermit Crab met some sea anemones. They swayed gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and live on my house? It is so plain. It needs you. I'll come, whispered a small sea anemone. Gently, a hermit crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his shell. In April, a hermit crab passed a flock of starfish moving slowly along the sea floor. How handsome you are, said a hermit crab. Would one of you be willing to decorate my house? I would, signaled a little sea star. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his house. He's making lots of friends already. In May, Hermit Crab discovered some coral. They were hard and didn't move. How pretty you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to help make my house more beautiful? I would, creaked a crusty coral. Gingerly, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. So what do you think gingerly means? I know we've mentioned how Hermit Crab has carefully picked stuff up and gently. So based off of those, I think gingerly might mean carefully or gently as well. So he gently picked up the coral and put it on his shell. There's three new friends he's already made. In June, Hermit Crab came to a group of snails crawling over a rock on the ocean floor. They gazed as they grazed. They grazed as they went, picking up algae and bits of debris and leaving a neat path behind them. How tidy and hardworking you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and help clean my house? I would, offered one of the snails. Happily, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. Now Hermit Crab's going to have a little cleaner on his house, on his shell. In July, Hermit Crab came upon several sea urchins. They had sharp, prickly needles. How fierce you look, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? I would, answered a spiky sea urchin. Gratefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it near his shell. So now he has some decorations, he has somebody to clean it, and now he's going to have somebody to help protect him. He's making lots of friends. In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered into a forest of seaweed, all dark and spooky. It's so dark here, thought Hermit Crab. How dim it is, murmured the sea anemone. How gloomy it is, whispered the starfish. 
How murky it is, complained the coral. I can't see, said the snail. It's like night time, cried the sea urchin. Them all living together, traveling through the ocean. In September, Hermit Crab spotted a school of lanternfish darting through the dark water. How bright you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to light up our house? I would, replied one lanternfish, and it swam over near the shell. Very kind of the lanternfish. In October, Hermit Crab approached a pile of smooth pebbles. How sturdy you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you mind if I rearrange you? Not at all, answered the pebbles. I didn't know pebbles could talk. This must be fiction then, right? Because fake fiction, because I don't think pebbles can talk. Hermit Crab picked them up one by one with his claw and built a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect, cheered Hermit Crab. But in November, Hermit Crab felt that his shell seemed a bit too small. Little by little, over the year, Hermit Crab had grown. Soon he would have to find another, bigger home. But he had come to love his friends. The sea anemone, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lanternfish, and even the smooth pebbles. They have been so good to me, thought Hermit Crab. They are like a family. How could I ever leave them? They all look so happy. Hanging out together. In December, a smaller hermit crab passed by. I have outgrown my shell, she said. Would you know of a place for me? I have outgrown my house, too, answered hermit crab. I must move on. You are welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little crab. The following January, Hermit Crab stepped out and the little crab moved in. Couldn't stay in that little shell forever, said Hermit Crab as he waved goodbye. The ocean floor looked wider than he had remembered, but Hermit Crab wasn't afraid. Soon he spied the perfect house, a big empty shell. It looked, well, a little plain, but sponges, he thought. Barnacles, clownfish, sand dollars, electric eels. Oh, there are so many possibilities. I can't wait to get started. Sounds like he's going to make new friends. Yeah, and that's the end. Oh, did I show you that other picture? There's the little girl who's going to move into his house. And then this is the last picture of the book, him finding his new home that he's going to fill with new friends. So you're right. So sadly, just like Hermit Crab, I have to move on. Um, as you guys go from second grade to third grade, I have to leave St. Anthony's. And I'm really going to miss you guys. But I want to say thank you because you guys have helped make this year amazing. Like you helped. You're all my friends now. And I learned so much from all of you guys. And I hope you guys were able to learn some stuff from me too. Um. So yeah, I wish you guys the best of luck and good luck with homework and everything that's going on in this crazy time right now. And uh, I hope I get to see you soon.